presentation will address the characteristics of skilled performers and it will focus specifically on the four main observable differences between skilled athletes and unskilled athletes. And if we take a closer look at the PDHPE syllabus, you'll notice that there are four main characteristics and they include kinesthetic sense, anticipation, consistency and technique. There is a huge difference between a skilled and unskilled performer. Uh, these characteristics, kinesthetic sense, anticipation, consistency and technique, are all observable and they are what makes an athlete skilled and able to perform at very high levels. Those athletes uh, that display these characteristics are considered to be at the autonomous stage of skill acquisition. Kinesthetic sense. Kinesthetic sense is the capacity of an athlete to know where each of their body parts are in space. And this is really crucial because when an athlete, for example, is going to kick a soccer ball, they need to know exactly where to contact the ball uh, with their foot. And they also need to know how much force to apply to the ball. So an athlete that has really good kinesthetic sense is able to contact the ball in the right uh, spot or the right location and and they're able to apply the correct amount of force uh, for the type of pass or kick that they would like to do. So that's why sometimes when you watch a really high quality soccer player you'll notice that when they kick the ball they're able to kick it in such a way so that it has the correct amount of force on it, it's contacted in the correct place and it goes to where it needs to go to. If we watch an unskilled player uh, kick the ball, you'll notice that uh, it's very inconsistent. Uh, the ball will often go in the direction uh, that's nowhere near the player uh, that they're trying to kick it to. So that's a good example of, of how kinesthetic sense can assist a player. So more specifically, it's the athlete's neuromuscular pathway. Um, so the connection between the nerves and the muscles and an athlete with really good kinesthetic sense is able to feel the movement. Uh, so it leads to better coordination and a greater ability to make modifications while executing the movement. So this improved kinesthesia or kinesthesis can be developed through practice. Michael Jordan was a fantastic basketball player uh, and he had a remarkable kinesthetic sense. And his kinesthetic sense is really exemplified in this little clip. You can see that as he takes off from the ground and put the ball into the basket, you're able to see him modify his movement whilst uh, he's in midair. So this is a gr another great example of kinesthetic sense. He's able to sense where the opponent is and where uh, and what he should be doing to be able to get the ball around the player and put it in the basket. So his capacity to sense what's going on there and make changes to his technique is another great example of kinesthetic sense. Moving on to anticipation. And skilled performers are able to predict what may happen. Uh, they're able to predict the flight path and speed of the ball, the direction of a pass or the direction of an opponent. They're able to through this are able to have more time to respond. So for example, a tennis player that's waiting for a serve uh, at the other end of the court, uh, the, the ball is served very fast, particularly in an elite game of tennis. Uh, the highly skilled player is able to anticipate where the ball might go, whether it's going uh, out wide or whether it's going in close, down the line or something like that. And they're able to, to help uh, themselves to predict where it might go. And so this gives them more time to respond and hit the ball back and also provides the ability to outmaneuver the opponent. Uh, and this is very important in externally paced activities such as receiving a tennis serve. So a skillful performer can, can also vary the pace of the movement uh, to prevent an opponent from anticipating. So skillful athletes need to be able to combat the fact that the person on the other side of the net, for example, in tennis, can anticipate their movement. So they need to apply some tactics to help them to overcome that. Now, a great example here is this little clip of Roger Federer 
uh, able to anticipate. Firstly, anticipate that the ball is going to be dropped short and then to be able to turn around and anticipate that the ball will be put over his head and get it back through the legs. So a high quality, highly skilled athlete anticipating, able to get to the ball faster and respond.